And hello to our fans online. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Paula Ferris with the top stories on this Thursday, June 14th. Well, champion cyclist Lance Armstrong once again on the defensive over his drug use. Well, the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency has filed formal charges against the seven-time Tour de France winner, threatening to strip him of his victories in that storied cycling race. Armstrong, who is in France right now training for a triathlon, called the claims baseless and motivated by spite. And says that he has never failed a drug test. Well, more than a thousand firefighters and five air tankers are tackling that massive wildfire burning for nearly a week in northern Colorado. This video from right before sunset last night showing it clearly is on the move. The fire has spread to more than 70 square miles and is only 10 percent contained. Hundreds of evacuated residents are still waiting to see if there's anything left of their homes. Mm. J.P. Morgan Shea CEO Jamie Dimon says he is sorry, but also says he's still proud of his bank. Testifying on Capitol Hill yesterday, he again apologized for the mistakes that led to a huge trading loss of at least two billion bucks. But Diamond also said J.P. Morgan is in good shape and he does not think stricter rules are needed for banks' trading activities. Now at hockey games, you often see boys behaving badly, but you won't believe who stepped in to this game. Several fights broke out at a youth hockey game near Boston. The refs apparently weren't doing enough to break up the brawl, so call it in the hockey mom. There she is to the rescue. She storms the ice with purse in hand, and I'm sure some lipstick on, and she starts yelling at the refs and told the kids to break it up. The refs ordered her off the ice, but her mission was accomplished. The fighting immediately Stop, don't mess with mama. You know, you can ignore the refs, but you can't ignore mama. That's, right. <laughs> That's the moral of that story. You can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Paula Ferris. And I'm Rob Nelson. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.